68-62, the Seminoles get their first ACC win of the season. Lane Hurt here with David Nichols. David, when things are sputtering a little bit, things are getting frustrating on the court, it seemed like defensively you guys really picked it up. How important was the defensive effort tonight for you guys? Um, it was important just um, not letting our offense dic dictate our defense and we weren't scoring um, just to get stops. Uh, Phil Colfer, Chris Pumaje, Terrence Mann, uh, being senior leaders out there, like P.J. Savoy, knowing uh, we have to get stops when the offense isn't going and just talking, staying vocal, and uh, just bringing the guys together. A big run in the middle of the second half gave you guys a double-digit lead. What was the, the, the key to, to making that run? Uh, just getting stops, pushing the ball. Uh, Trent Forrest running transition, uh, Raquan Gray, P.J. Savoy finding threes. Uh, M.J. Walker was a, a big um, influence in our transition offense. and um, Just moving the ball, really, when the ball has energy behind it, uh, good things happen for us. Miami was able to cut the lead to, to two down the stretch, but a big putback by either Trent or Terrence, not sure who exactly got that, that one in. What did you see on that play, and, and how big was that to get into a two-possession game? Uh, we knew that they weren't trying to foul. They weren't trying to foul the whole game, so we just had to go in there strong. And so Coach uh, emphasized crash, crash, crash uh, on the shot, even though we're up four. We still had to send bodies to the offensive glass, and then they both went, and uh, the ball went in the rim. 13 points for you, five of the last seven games you scored in double figures. How comfortable are you feeling here at Florida State now within what, what, the, what the team's trying to do? Uh, I'm very comfortable, and uh, that's just all credit to my coaches and teammates for um, just helping me um, along the way, um, making my adjustment from my uh, last school to here, and just understanding the system, understanding uh, when to look for my shots, when teammates are going to be available, and just playing Florida State basketball. So that's just uh, credit to them. They may all count the same, but on Saturday, number one Duke coming in. Is this one of the reasons, A, why you came to Florida State, and B, just what does it mean to have that game here in the Tucker Center? Um, yeah, every college basketball player wants to play <coughs> meaningful games. So we had, uh, we had one at Virginia, and we have one coming up at Duke. Um, it means a lot for us in ACC standings and uh, the national standings, so we just have to have a focused mindset, mindset going into the game. Uh, stay 18 strong and um, just play our game and do what we know we can do. There you have it, Seminole fans. A big win tonight and a big game on Saturday. If you don't have a ticket, I'm sorry. Good luck trying to get in here. It's going to be a fun one. For David, I'm Lane. Go Knowles.